the epic sequel which everyone around the globe has been waiting for. Yo, what is going on guys? Alien ESP are back in a video. In today's video, we are opening part two of our Battle Styles Pokemon booster box. So excited for this, loved the booster box so far. Well, haven't got anything too good. I think we're saving that for this part. But yeah, love the um, set, love the booster box, love Pokemon as a whole. But yeah, let's get right into it, baby. So here are the six packs we're opening in today's video. Being very quick about this, you know, I don't think we have one of each artwork. No, we are missing. Wait, no, we do, we do. I'm going to leave the um, Empoleon to last. Got a good feeling about this pack, you know. If I'm talking a bit quick, I do apologise. I'm just so excited for this, man. Honestly, I love this set. I think it's great. I think um, from an investment standpoint, I think it'd be good uh, later down the line. That's just my opinion. Don't take it for granted. But I do really like enjoy this set. I think it's got a lot going for it. But yeah, comment down below what is your opinion on Battle Stars as a whole. Gonna go water energy for this one. Got dark. But yeah, um, for comment question of the day, I know I'm bringing it out a bit early, but let's just get it out of the way. How are you guys going to invest in Battle Stars for like later down the line, as in like keeping some product sealed? Reverse Hollow Rare Crobat. Crobat is actually my third fit Pokemon, and that is a reverse um, I am missing from the Master Set. So I will take it. I'm just going to sleeve it up now, real quick. In case you guys don't know, um, in I don't know how you wouldn't know, but yeah, I'm actually going for a Battle Styles boot, uh, Master Set, hence what, another reason why I'm cracking open a second booster box, trying to get one of every card, including the Reverse Hollows, so that Reverse Crowbat will, will really help with it. Why is this pack being so difficult to open? Hopefully that means there's something good in it, because if not, then that's just wasted my strength trying to open that pack. Was that super glued or something? Yeah, I'm going to go dark for this one. I barely guess dark, you know, I think it's one of those types I always forget. So we've got a pig knight, a level ball, a mankey, a mawile, a Fermantis, a Vemorade, a Spearbo, a Reverse Hollow Galarian Slowbo. We do have a Hollow, I can see Hollow Bleed on it. And a Holographic Sandaconda. I am actually missing this card from my Master Set. I know that because when I was doing the video a couple days ago, I'm um, showing off my Master Set. I realised I was missing the slot, you know, right next to its pre-evolution um, Silicobra in the fighting section of this um, binder. Because that's the way Pokemon do them, you know, they have them in types. And I must say it looks quite nice, you know, with all the colours together. A bit like a rainbow. So opening this pack now. Uh, I think my mum's on the phone, so if you heard that, I do apologise. Here is the code card. Oh, was covering, in, was covering the last digit for that code. I do apologise. I'm going to go fighting. Yep, I got it right. Fitting things, so though. The set's all about fighters, and we did just pull a Sandaconda, which is fighting type. I don't believe it's fighting type in the video game. It's just um, ground and rock type to turn into fighting in the card game, in case some I don't know that. So you do have a reverse rare, um, crow, um, not crow, but a center scorch. And I think I'm missing that one too. Pulling a lot of reverse rares in this video. Reverse rare galore, if you ask me. And we did just pull a regular rare Vivillion. Reminds me a bit of Viv uh, Vivian's collectibles, you know, similar name. Comment down below, do you guys like him? You probably do. He's a lot bigger and um, within the scene than I am. He's very good, you know, makes some very great content. And I'd love to collab with him in the future. Um, if you somehow are listening to this Vivian collectibles, let me know, you know. We can always message, I guess, but I don't think you'd ever do that. Yeah, I think you've got more bigger plans. Than so I'm going to go Grass Energy. Oh, wow, back to back energy guests. Hopefully, that is a sign. So, we have Tower of Darkness, Karina's Focus, Esper, Shinx, Blitbug, Pornyard. Do I see a bit of a shine? I think I might. I think it's a bit of gleam, though. And it, oh, it was, it was just a bit of gleam. I thought at first that was an ultra rare, but it was just a holographic Entei. Again, with the hollow bleed. Is this going to be a thing with this booster box where it's just all hollow bleeds? I'm actually looking at the condition of this card. I really do enjoy Entei as a Pokemon, and I like the artwork of it. If you're curious, how did you look at the condition so quick? You barely analysed it. I was looking at the back, and I saw a big nick in the corner. So straight away, I knew I wasn't going to grade it. That Entei, possibly in the reverse holo form, I think I'd love to have in a PSA 10. Just because, as I did say, Entei, one of my favourite Pokemon, and I'd enjoy that artwork. Going to go fire for this one. It was gr um, not grass, lightning. Hopefully that means this pack will be shocking. But yeah, Gen 2 is my favourite region, and Entei is one of the five uh, Johto legendaries. And then there's Celebi, the mythical for that region. Oh, we do have a full art. What is it? I think it's Flapple. Based off the colours, yeah, it is Flapple, wow. I really do like this card, you know, the colours on it really do pop. It's a bit off-centre, I won't grade it. However, it is still perfect to go in the binder, wow. 
I was not expecting to get a full art, and especially this early on. Would you look at that? That is neat. I think without a doubt that will be the best pack. Oh, apologize for apologize for knocking the um, camera. I think without a doubt that will be the best um um card from this part, you know, but maybe somehow, just somehow we'll be able to beat that in a later part, but I think that'll be very difficult to beat. Realistically, I think the only thing that could beat it would be one of the Alton Art or the Shiny Gold Houndoom. To end it off, I'll go Grass, since that is the type of Flapple is fighting, but, you know, hopefully we still do get something great. So we've got Rapid Strike Mastered, Cheryl, Timber, Glaring, a cross-eyed Glaring Slowpoke, a Corkfish, Salandit, Roly Coley, Urn of Vitality. We do have a Grass type. Is this Cricketoon? Uh, no, it is Flapple. We did actually just pull the regular half art version of Flapple. Not gonna lie, I was hoping it's Cricketoon because I'm missing that one and from my master set. And unfortunately, I do already have this within my master set. But however, I could always trade it if someone who may want it in a deck, you know, one of the attacks on it is quite interesting. Or I could trade it with someone who just either wants a card for their collection or for their master set. You can see the attack there making your opponent um, attacks cost more energy. So here's the regular half art flapple. The full art flapple, the best card within this set, um, not set, not set, um, pet, um, opening, and maybe in this whole box, reverse hollow crowbat, holographic entei, reverse rare center scorch, oops, sorry, and a sandaconda holographic. Yeah, guys, that is all for me in today's video. As I did say in the intro, this part was so much better than part one. Not gonna lie, between me and you, part one was pretty bad, but you should still check it out anyway. That card, that full art flapple, honestly, so, so great, and I'm so happy to pull it. Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite card from this video, but just like me, it's probably that full art, but if somehow it's different, please let me know. This is all for me in today's video. I've been Nelly and ESP. You've been fantastic viewers, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.